Oh my god! It's Airsoft Talk after a month of no filming, and I'm Delta One. And basically, I'm going to be giving you a little bit of a rundown today of what's going on with God's Airsofters. And the song you're going to be listening to is once again by Dream Trance. I'll have a video, I'll have the like, description of that. Um, the reason I put copyright music on here is because I don't care. This is my like other channel. Now what's been going on with God's Airsoft is I got fired. Which is not really a good thing, but the job sucked. And my boss was a butthole. So, what God did for me is he put me at a better workplace. And I'm very thankful. And I give credit to God for that. And only God could do that. Because he's God. And he's awesome. Because he fixed Splashtown today. We prayed that the power would come back on, and it came back on, like an hour later. So, it worked. But anyways, enough about that. What's going on with God's Airsofters is lately we've become a retailer. Now, y'all may be asking me, why aren't you doing this on your account? Well, because I don't want to, okay? Now, by retailer, I mean we will sell guns. Like, we will sell guns. Now, I'm not sure the price is yet, it may be a little high for some of you people, but you know what? It, you're dealing with me. You trust me. You know who I am. My famous orange hat. You can't forget that. Now, I'll be working on a gun. You can contact me super easy. I love my job. I love it. I work on guns. Seriously, guys. I love it. Now, Freezer, on the other hand, is, works for the same company I got fired for, so... Oh, well. It doesn't matter. But, anyways, um, I do have a website that's like Houston Indoor Airsoft, or Houston Indoor Airsoft Field, or Dark Gift Combat. One of the two. They're both airsoft websites related. One of them does sell, but he's kind of expensive, and I'm making him switch retailers. Well, not switch, but he switched retailers, so he's going to be selling cheaper prices. But don't, don't like spam me about this because I don't want to really talk about that. But anyways, um, what you can expect to see in the future is more guns and I'm pretty sure you notice like, well, where'd they get a Tokyo Marui Spaz 12? I haven't seen that anywhere. Well, you know what? It just kind of just fell in our lap. I mean, he just had it and I was like, Tokyo Marui, yeah! It was great. I love the shotgun. Highly recommend it if you can find it. Now, we also have a CYMA M14 that we did a review on, SOCOM, black, just the way I like it. Uh, black M14s are great. That's the only ones that we did. Anyways, we did that. Uh, we did fool around with the HFC, I mean, USC, like, MP9. I mean, not MP9, M9 92FS. Broke on us, but it's a good gun. I, for the price, you can't beat it. Now, we did do a review on that Spaz, the KSC, the Sig 552 Commando by Tokyo Marui. We haven't had the teaser yet for it. We did the review. Uh, what else did we have? Um, we did have an ICS MP5, but we had to bring that back to the shop. Um, we do have a walk-in store. It's off of Fondren in 59 in Houston, Texas. Star Gift Combat will be on the website. Um, I'm not there all the time, guys, so don't go there and be like, Hey, where's Delta One? Where is he? I want to see him. I want to see him right now. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not there all the time. That's one of the three jobs I work at right now. Um, so, anyway, well, what, what's, what's really been going on, guys, is that that's going on. That's a big deal for me. Because, like, I'm the tech there, and my lighting fixture messed up. Where the heck will my controller connect? Um, but anyways, you know what? Sorry, my 360 control. I'm using my TV as a brightening for my base kind of thing going on right now. Okay, there we go. Um, it's great. Uh, God's Airsofters has become a retailer. It's awesome. I mean, we get guns now. This is this has got some little modifications on it. So this is a Well R8. Now, before any of you will see this, make sure to like be surprised. I I have my drum bag. For my G3, so I decided why not. I mean, looks retarded, but it's a cool gun. I thought I thought it was funny to have a G3 kind of like this. 
So, I mean, I think it's great. So, the red dot works pretty cool. I like it. Uh, well, you can see it on camera. Uh, you can't see it because I'm too lazy um, to show you. But, that's not all. I mean, we have a load of guns just, like, piling up. Like, <clears throat> like I went to, like, drop guns off at his house. I mean, not his house, but the, the shop. And we had over 20-some-odd weapons in the back of the trunk. Now, I was kind of freaking out because when we're on the way to the store, it's kind of a bad part of town, so there's a lot of cops. <laughs> so, imagine getting pulled over with three MP5s, an AK-47, a SIG-552 Commando, a M14, a SAW, um, a 92FS pistol, a Tanaka uh, shotgun, in the back of your car. Okay, well, it's not like 20 guns. It, it, it looked ridiculous when we opened the car trunk. It was like, I had to go and make it, like, go into the store and be like, hey, because he runs, like, a martial arts, like, blah, 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 type thing going on. And I wanted to, like, no, I didn't want to freak anybody out. So I was like, he's like, yeah, you can bring in all of them. I was like, okay. So I brought him in, and I showed him the saw. And he was like, <gasps> and I was like, yeah. I was like, we're getting it, right? And he's like, yeah, we're going to have saw in stock. We better. Well, we're going to. Um, also, other news. Well, I'm going to play a second song going on in the background because I really like this guy's music. Is Fight for Freedom by Dream Trance. I'll have that in the description. Well, actually, be that way. Um, I mean, this is big, guys. I love, I love this. Um, Airsoft Talk may not see a lot of action, but I will try and keep you updated through here. I mean, I don't want to stop talking right now about this because it's awesome. But, um, oh yeah, oh, I guess I'll show you another gun that we'll have in the near future. We're reviewing the Smith & Wesson Tri-Shot. M3 shotgun. It. I mean, it doesn't sound that great. It doesn't sound like anything ridiculous, but you know, 60 bucks. This is what you're gonna get. You get what you pay for. Um. Well, I'm gonna surprise one of my friends that just sent me a chat invite. I'm gonna be like, hey, you interrupted me filming. So, uh, his name is Righteous Lion, uh, spelled with L Y on Xbox if you want to go like be all like yeah. in his face that, that's fine by me. Um here we go, we're gonna yell at him. Hey, hey. Hey, you you know what you just did, Righteous Lion? Yeah you did something bad. You interrupted me while I'm filming right now. I'm like filming a camera and it's recording right now. You interrupted my filming. What do you need? Okay, they're, they're not really doing anything, guys. So, I mean, we're just going to, like, leave Righteous Line to be. Anyways, they're probably like, What the hell are you talking about? Whatever. Also, we got another gun that I just have conveniently laying on the back of my bed. I'm pretty sure you can guess what it is. The French Made for Moss. You know what FAMAS stands for, guys, right? French always, wait no, French always must acknowledge surrender. Yeah. Um, I remember Google back in the day had a glitch where if you uh, typed in French military victories, it'd pop up and say, do you mean French military defeats? Oh, it's, it's so great. I love it. Um, you can expect to see the teaser for this. It's a cyber gun. Again, you get what you pay for. It's pretty good. It's actually not that bad, but I'm not a FAMAS person. Personally, dislike it. Because, I mean, it's like... Hey, hey, there's like a five inch blind sight right here. Yeah. I'm gonna put stuff through here. I mean, seriously, look. Look at my new FAMAS bracelet, guys! Isn't it awesome? Yeah, man, now I can like work out all the time. It's awesome. Not really. I actually don't like that. that i get my arms stuck out. Okay, there we go. It's out. Now, guys, this is a this is just like kind of like a video that I just wanted to do. And Freezer's going to come out with his own kind of version of Airsoft Talk. I don't know what it is yet. Don't bother me asking. You do, I'll ban you. Because I don't know. So this has been Airsoft Talk. And, of course, I'm Delta One out.